Foods and I, we're here at Whole Foods and I have to show you guys this. It's over by the oatmeal and brown rice. It's a special water fountain for the spoon so it doesn't get uh, the oatmeal caked on and stuck on there. I hope they're res like just recirculating that water otherwise it'd be really wasteful. Hey guys, happy Sunday. So we're at a different the different Whole Foods and they've got some jazzy music playing. Yeah, sorry about the horrible music. I'm gonna do a voiceover. My mom says, hi everybody. And she got, uh, what'd she get? Hash browns and stuffed grape leaves. Uh, so those were really good, she said. I think they had brown rice in them. And I got rice cauliflower, spiralized zucchini. And I also got some uh, oatmeal, which is vegan. I think it's steel, coat, steel cut oats, um, roasted green garbanzo. Uh, there's some blueberries, some blackberries in there. I dusted it with coconut, cinnamon, cacao powder, and sesame seeds. So I was walking by and I saw Bonza makes uh, rice now. I didn't know that. I'd love to try it because I rather enjoyed that. Was it the penne that we had? Yeah, it was, um, it was really good. I like it yeah. too. They have macaroni and cheese too, but it's probably not vegan. Cool. Yeah, 35% off if you're a Prime member. That's that's a good deal because this stuff is kind of expensive. Yeah, it's it is. Pricey. I like the tricolor one too. That yeah. would be pretty uh, to make a salad with that. It would, yeah. Oh. What's that? 10 grams of protein. Oh, that's good. That's quite a bit. I wanted to see if they had the. Julian's protein granola. Do you guys, I the Julian's protein granola that I get is vegan, by the way. Somebody asked me about that the other day. Um, they have one vegan flavor. The vanilla, it doesn't have egg, but the rest of them do. We're over here at Trader Joe's. They have the sweetest little succulents out. Uh -huh. Cute They're pretty. Gardens. Yeah, seven bucks. That's not too bad. They have a nice kind of purpley hue to them. Oh, is this lavender? Rosemary. Oh, rosemary. Look, it's so pretty. Hello. Not a bad price. They have rosemary and I've already got parsley. Ooh look, Trader Joe's has a peony hand soap. They also have a scented candle. Have you guys balancing on the coconut body butter but I came in here specifically because you all were asking me about the new moisturizing gel um, I obviously haven't tried it before but it's got um, aloe leaf juice in it check out my video on aloe vera I talk about aloe leaf juice the benefits of aloe in an extract why you shouldn't put just the straight plant on your face um, so it has that that's good aloe leaf juice a humectant brightening properties, anti-inflammatory, and it also has panthenol, a skin conditioning agent, and the preservative is phenoxyethanol, which is good. They have a preservative in there, um, and that's about all I can say about it. I don't really know what the consistency is, but it's only three bucks, uh, and it's otherwise fragrance-free. They also have a fragrance-free aloe vera gel with aloe leaf juice aloe gel in it and this one also has alcohol denaturant in it uh, which can be drying and a little irritating um, and can increase some of the penetration of the active ingredients so if you're sensitive to aloe you'd probably be more bothered by this given that it has alcohol in it alongside the aloe I don't think this was here one of the last times I came here. This is the Trader Joe's A Midsummer Night's Cream Moisturizing Cream Extra Dry Formula. I don't think this was here before. 
It's got avocado oil in it and aloe leaf juice in it. So, oh, and it also has hydrolyzed soy. Soy, check out my video on the Ombre Lee's cream. I talk about soy in um, topical skincare products there, but um, soy can interfere with um, some of how pigment is transferred from pigment producing cells to surrounding skin cells and therefore can be helpful for conditions of hyperpigmentation. It can just impart a transient brightening effect. So does this have fragrance in it? Let me double check. I'm not seeing fragrance listed on this quick glance. It's cruelty free. This has fragrance in it. It's a 3-in-1 body wash shampoo. It's really hard to find fragrance free shampoos. Like if you develop fragrance allergy, it, you finding shampoo is, is such a challenge. Um, Vanny Cream makes a good fragrance-free shampoo, but this is a total body shampoo, conditioner, body wash, all in one. Um, and I imagine it's probably pretty drying. The uh, surfactant in here is, it's got cocomethyl propyl betaine in it. Yeah, the surfactant is cocomethyl propyl betaine. I, I wonder if that might be a little on the drying side. Any body wash is gonna be drying. Nope because soap dissolves your lipid barrier, the detergent property. I mean, that's how it removes dirt. It also disrupts the lipid barrier to a certain extent, depending on how harsh the, um, how harsh the uh, soap or cleanser is. So I think this is also new since I've been in here, the Blueberry Acai Facial Scrub. Uh, this is a no-go. It has fragrance in it, lavender oil. Thai bee, side note, has a blueberry soap that my mom shampoos him with. <laughs> he likes it. Um, otherwise, this might actually be kind of good. It's got shea butter in it, which is, I have a video on shea butter also. Wonderful uh, moisturizing ingredient. Also, colloidal oatmeal, another ingredient I have a video on and why it's, why it's fantastic. Um, you know, I'm sure they put the blueberry and the baobab in here uh, because they're antioxidants and the acai. But the lavender, again with the lavender, lavender is fragrance uh, and it, it can cause problems. So, yeah, what do they have in the sample section? Ew, watermelon. Don't mind if I do. I'm guessing that's not vegan. Caramel and milk chocolate. You guys are kind of nestled in the jalapeno sauce. Okay. That's pretty good one. My mom's getting soy katash. It's uh, edamame, corn, and bell pepper. It looks yeah, good. it's like a succotash. And some eucalyptus and veggie broth. Oh, can I show your toes now? By all means. <laughs> My mom, well, <laughs> This was my mother's day. This is entry. My mom's mother's day toenail color. What was it called? Don't get up too close. <laughs> She's she has she has ever. foot anxiety. Um, it's called social uh, phobia about her feet. Grandma kissed a gaucho. Grandma OPI. kissed a gaucho. OPI. <laughs> Looks cute. Coming here to Michael's. Camp creativity. Oh. Please tell me you don't have to be under the age of nine, under the age of three, no fair. Looks like fun. I always enjoyed arts and crafts camps in the summer. I'm, I was just looking at this mermaid coloring book with stickers. It looks like a good oh, one. Oh, aren't those fun? This is a good one. Oh, you can use stickers in the coloring too? Look yeah. In our wall. I like this. Oh, that is it's, nice. It could be some summer artwork. To put yeah, in. I like that. That dog is a decent farm. I like that. Did you see anything good? Well, I was looking for the oh, and is this the Chrisanne designs? Why. Oh, how cute! Yeah, yeah Sam got some of these. Oh my goodness. These are nice. I um, 
a couple years back, I got some weather stickers from Sweet Kauai. I didn't, I've never seen these before. Hustle for the muscle. These look like they're very Erin Condren and Life Planner friendly too. Save money, but we'll spend five dollars on the stickers to tell us to save money. <laughs> uh, look at this for moving day. I could have used that. Oh, how one. cute! Oh, I like, I like these. The laundry, trash. Oh, these are cute. Oh, look. That would. There you are. Oh, computer. those are cute. What are jiggle digs? Bur oh, the toy is buried inside the gelatin game. Sounds like a parent's worst nightmare. Oh, Play-Doh. Cute are these bird houses. <laughs> the tiki bar. And I love the little beach shack one. Those are adorable. Here are all the Happy Planner stickers. I like the ones with these girls. My mom has some, a different book of those, but some that are sort of similar. This little summer carnival scene. Bean bag toss. I like the ice cream truck. All right, Michael's has all of their jar candles are three for $10. And I always get excited when I see these, but then I never buy them. Um, they have this scent, Tulip and Neroli. That sounds like something you would use to disinfect your swimming pool. Okay, we'll pass on that one. It kind of smells a little like a citronella candle. Tropical Margarita. The Margarita candle, uh, Bath and Body Works yesterday. Oh, heavenly. It's the face of a tight section. Whew. <laughs> Smells good. Not as good as the Bath and Body Works one. And coastal glass. I love beach glass. It's so pretty. Hmm, disappoint. Cedarwood and Fig. That's not bad. And of course, I got the coloring book. And good news, their coupon for this week actually worked on it. So it ended up being $3.60. Well worth it. I think these stickers are adorable. Um, probably will end up using them in my planner or on greeting cards. Um, I love the alphabet too. And I enjoy coloring. I mentioned that in my 2018 lifestyle favorites video. Coloring was is a real relaxing hobby of mine. And I like pa um, coloring books that are really spacious, if you will, and don't have a lot of fine detail. I get stressed out with the the more adult the coloring book, the more stressful I find it. I like to go as like preschool as possible. <laughs> uh, these look like like fun patterns though, some fun pictures. I love mermaids and kind of ocean and beach beach themed things. Plus fun for the summertime.
guys, so it's lunchtime, and we just made, I made myself a salad, but you made yourself a veggie burger? Um, yeah, it's a veggie patty with avocado. And that's one of the Dave's Killer Bread Bagels? Yeah, uh, yes, cool. it's a, the berry blast or whatever it is. You got a little sweet and savory mambo combo? I hope so, I think it'll taste good. <laughs> And I just made myself a salad. This is the mixed power greens from Costco. Uh, just plain black beans that I sprinkled oregano on top of, a little bit of avocado, some sauerkraut, steamed carrots, cherry tomatoes, and steamed broccoli. And I'm gonna douse it with nutritional yeast for some B12. Oh, I also have hemp seeds on there. So and that's what we're having. And then we'll get, we'll resume playtime with Tybee and his octopus. I'd like to be under the sea in an octopus's garden in the shade. Hey there, mister. <laughs> Tybee wants to be in the Beatles. Yeah, I was looking at some of his puppy pictures. He's quite a big boy now. He, he has gone much larger. He does. You showed me one, and I forgot about his tear stains. They completely yeah. went away. Well, they were so still, prominent when they're he. They're still there a little bit, but nothing like when he first brought them. That's because my glomerular filtration rate is much higher now, and I'm able to clear that a little more expeditiously. Really? Well, that's good to know. He's been studying uh, <laughs> renal physiology. Hi, Tybee. Well, hey guys, what's up? Um, I'm back. I just got out of the shower. Um, and I wanted to share with you guys, I have successfully been uh, trying out a new kind of moisturizing routine to my face, largely because I have these products and I've just kind of been experimenting with them. I mentioned the other day in my little morning get ready with me that I have been really enjoying this Procure Rosa Care moisturizer with licorice root and color correcting chromium. Uh, as a lightweight moisturizer. I put it on in the morning, let it dry, and then put my sunscreen on over it. And I've also been applying it at night. It's a great lightweight moisturizer, wonderful for redness, sensitive skin, oily prone skin, acne prone skin. It's very lightweight, so it's a great moisturizer for transitioning into summer. But I've also been pairing it up with uh, putting it on first at nighttime and then layering on top the La Roche-Posay Cicaplast Balm B5. This is a very, very Okay, so ignore the tube I'm holding up. For whatever reason, this night, I accidentally put the sunscreen version of this all over my face. Um, but what I'm talking about here is using the non-sunscreen version of this. But side note, the sunscreen version of this burns like heck around the eyes. My eyes are watering right now. Tella Asiatica uh, containing balm, just as the name implies which uh, originally was formulated, I believe, with the intention to serve people with uh, burns, you know, as a, as a balm to go on a burn to help with wound healing. Centella Asiatica, or the Asiatic Pennywort, has been shown to be helpful in wound healing. Um, so this is a pretty occlusive balm, but I've got to say, I've been tolerating it just swimmingly all over my face. Uh, so it soaks into the skin really well, not, you know, I, this is not irritating. It's not something that's going to exacerbate acne. You just might find that it's a little intense, heavy of a moisturizer and not maybe necessary, but I love it and I really have found that it's great that way. Keep it in mind for the winter months is if you really bad dry skin. But anyway, it's got panthene on it. I think that's what gives it like a nice, almost plasticky balm like consistency. Panthene is B5. So yeah, I definitely recommend this and the uh, Rosa Care. This is my second second bottle of this. Uh, really good. Stacked or solo, one, one or the other. Really, really been enjoying this. But anyways, guys, I hope you all enjoyed the vlogs this weekend. Um, I'm going to end it here. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.